Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining. My name is Gabe. I am a program manager for Applied Digital Skills. And the topic of this webinar is to let you know about our DIY trainer pilot, all right? And so that's do-it-yourself training or professional development. Uh, and it's a new initiative we're rolling out and we're excited to share it with you. Okay, we'll start off with the basics. And that is, what is Applied Digital Skills, all right? Some of you may be very familiar with Applied Digital Skills. This may be your first time hearing about it, but in sum, it is a video-based curriculum where tactical digital skills are woven throughout lessons with practical life applications, all right? That sounds like a lot, and I'd say the best way to get a sense of what this curriculum actually looks like is to visit our site and just follow along with us right now you can access it. Here's the short link, g.co slash apply digital skills. All right. Okay. So I'm going to leave the presentation for a minute and we'll just navigate the site together. Uh, when we access the site here, you'll see first things first, you have both a teacher portal as well as a student portal here. Okay. And so there are different ways that we can engage. If you sign up as a teacher, you get to create a class and then you also get to track your students' progress when they sign in, all right? And then as a student, the student will have the ability to actually submit assignments uh, based on the lessons that are provided, okay? So two things there. If you go over to our curriculum page, all right, you will see there are different lesson collections, right? Some are specific initiatives like back to school, right? And these are lessons that we think you can use in sort of the first months of school around creating study schedules, right? To meet your goals or organizing a club, managing your time, right? Things that are sort of important about starting the year on a good foot. Uh, but outside of these more targeted collections that we have here, we also have over 80 lessons uh, and that number is growing every single day on a number of different topics, right? And so if you want to learn how to plan and budget, okay, that's a basic foundational skill that we wish as adults that we had learned in school and, and act, of course everyone needs it, uh, but the digital skill that's taught is also outlined here, right? The conditional formulas, data analysis, organizing data, right? And what are we using to do this? We're using Google Sheets, we're using Google Search, we're using Google Maps. Okay, the idea, again, these digital skills uh, pair with a practical life skill. So if I view this lesson, I will be shown a, a series of videos based on sort of different components of this one lesson. And I can download the lesson plan and a rubric to see student samples, as well as a preloaded rubric as to how I should grade this. If I go to an individual video, I have my talking head who's going to walk me through the video. And then I also have a transcript here so I can read if that is easier for me or my students. I can slow down the speed of the video. Uh, I can even download it if I need to and read it later or watch it later. Okay. And so as this uh, presenter is taking us through the tutorial, right, on budgeting and making good financial decisions. Uh, once a student is signed in, they'll be presented with different sort of actions to take on the side panel here along the way. All right, and that's how the student will engage with Applied Digital Skills. You can see the work that they've submitted, uh, you know, through Applied Digital Skills directly, or you can have them submit it outside of it, whatever makes sense for you. But the goal here, right, is that you have a platform that basically teaches the student along the way. And so it doesn't uh, constrict you to being in the front of the classroom delivering this lesson yourself, right? It works with students who are on one-to-one -one devices, uh, students who are sharing devices, students in a computer lab, blended learning opportunities galore. Uh, so there are tons of advantages to using this curriculum, but the thing that I love the most about it as a former educator myself is just sort of how perfectly it can be integrated into the work we're already doing, all right? If Then Adventure Stories is a great example of students collaborating to create an interactive story using Google Slides, okay? So we're working on digital collaboration and hyperlinks and sat in, in, inside of a slide or presenting, right, and giving a presentation. Of course, from a language arts perspective, you can work on parts of a story 
here, right? How do we get from the the beginning to the middle to the end, incorporate all the characters, et cetera, okay? So that's a really quick overview of what applied digital skills can do, but there are tons of lessons to choose from, all right? We can sort by topic, which can be something as broad as financial skills or something subject specific like math, all right? We can pick a specific app that we wanna learn about, all right, maybe we want to learn how to format for word processing, and so we'll filter even further to docs, all right? If I remove some of these filters, I can even just filter by audience, in this case, select high school. And then you'll see state standards out here as well, uh, where we try to align as best we can to state technology standards. And so you have a number of filters there uh, by state and by grade level, by specific standard, and even then by specific skill, all right? that you know weeds down from 80 lessons to these these four right that meets the high school uh and eighth grade requirements for the state of georgia whatever that looks like okay so tons of flexibility with this i hope you all use this in your own lives in your own classrooms uh sort of regardless of this uh, trainer program but the important thing to know about the training program is uh, that the pilot is an opportunity for us to share the resources that we use to train teachers so that you can do that same thing in your own communities, in your own schools. Okay, so who are DIY trainers? They are teachers, tech coaches, administrators, parents, student leaders, community leaders, just like yourselves who are committed to ensuring that young learners have skills for a 21st century workplace. Okay, uh, all in all, you've seen the site now. Uh, the site itself is, is relatively hands-off uh, and self-service, okay? Once you sort of log in and begin the videos, everything you need is uh, sort of prompted for you. Uh, however, we found that in general, some of our biggest barriers uh, to getting the curriculum integrated is really just having teachers who, who understand the technology at the most basic level. Uh, and so what better avenue uh, than to share that expertise, uh, than to have teachers teaching teachers. And that's our goal here with this pilot. And so why is this right for districts? Uh, like I mentioned, we know one of those big barriers is adequate teacher training uh, and the lack of a standardized curriculum, right? This can be different what the digital literacy standards or expectations are from school to school, from district to district, and from state to state, all right? And so applied digital skills is an effort at standardizing some of that curriculum, okay? So if you're in a district that is looking on how do I implement digital literacy into my classroom? How do I uh, integrate the state standards into my classroom? Uh, this is a program for you. And again, the further you can spread this gospel, the better it is for, for all students in your school or your district. So how do you get involved is what you may be asking. Well, any instructor uh, who is available to train other adults is eligible to become a DIY trainer. All right. Um, Moreover, if you are, uh, you know, participating in any of the other sort of Google trainer programs, uh, it is fine to do this uh, and count those hours towards that training program. Okay, Apply Digital Skills is a Google curriculum, and so uh, it sort of assists towards that L1, L2 certification, that G, uh, Google Certified Trainer uh, certification, whatever you know, uh, is something within that trainer ecosystem that you're pursuing. Uh, this is not you know, entirely separate from that. These hours can count towards that. Uh, but it's very important to know that really what we're asking you to do is set up a workshop with other teachers, other uh, education professionals, and deliver a short training with them. Okay, so the second link you can access here is the one highlighted in blue. It's uh, g.co slash apply digital skills slash DIY. Okay, and when you go there, you'll be presented with a playbook that provides uh, not only the presentation that you can deliver, but also sort of a, a lesson plan right, as to how you would use that presentation, sort of step by step what's covered, additional resources for the teachers around you. Uh, and then to speak to this last bullet point, we are gonna ask you to create a class and share that class code with the folks who are in the session with you. Okay, so that they can then log in and we know, okay, this class code is associated with the teachers who you trained. Okay, now, 
The incentive for our trainers is uh, our brand new Applied Digital Skills Trainer Badge, all right? And we found that there are tons of folks um, who are interested in uh, badging uh, and can take this badge and place it uh, in their resume. They, they have different sort of badging platforms that they can host this badge on, put in the email signature included on LinkedIn. Uh, and it basically signals you know, to the world that you are uh, an engaged educational professional. You have some expertise and digital skills uh, and hopefully uh, have some currency for you in your career. And so when you submit the class code to share that you have trained uh, a group of teachers, you will be provided this badge and you can download it and do it what you will. Uh, this is a brand new initiative for Applied Digital Skills. Uh, and so we are super excited, uh, which is why it is a pilot. Uh, we would like to see the badge spread as far as it can go. And so uh, again, if you are interested in receiving this badge and or Applied Digital Skills just seems interesting to you at all, uh, go ahead, get a small group of teachers at your grade level together or other teachers in your school where you say, hey, you know, we've been looking for a digital skills solution. I think this could help. Let's sit down for 90 minutes to Together and talk about how we integrate this into the curriculum. And again, if you go to uh, apply digital skills slash DIY, we'll give you some of the tools to have those conversations and give those trainings. Okay, uh, so last thing I want to do is actually take you to that resource g.co slash apply digital skills slash DIY. All right, and that brings us here to our trainer playbook. Okay. And as we go through this, again, like I mentioned, we will give you the presentation deck, all right, that you can actually lead a training yourself. So if I open this up, here's the DIY Applied Digital Skills training or workshop deck that allows you to go through this with teachers, okay? We talk about what is Applied Digital Skills for, right? Again, this is that practical skill paired with a digital application, planning a dream vacation while learning spreadsheet formulas, all right? We're also gonna go through sort of why are we doing this, all right? We talk about access to tools and skills as well as sort of our current job, mar job market challenge where employers are looking for students that have digital skills, all right? And then we actually go into, hey, what are the practical life skills and the digital skills that we are trying to pair? All right, so if this is a novel concept for anyone, this slide in particular helps sort of connect those dots, as well as how do we do that? Well, we do that through teaching sort of fluency of these products, which are free and cloud-based, so students can work collaboratively and, of course, submit that work back to you. All right, then there are going to be a few other slides where we dive into sort of specific lessons. Just now, I shared with you if then adventure stories and how popular it is in our English courses. Uh, the expectation here is that you become familiar with some of these lessons and can share examples with the teachers of ways you think it could be integrated into the classroom. Uh, right, and then we actually go for a bit of a test drive. We get you uh, in the group that is in your workshop. You will get them to you know, step into the shoes of a student, uh, go ahead and sign in and actually create an account. They will join the class for the class code that you have provided them, all right? Uh, and then, of course, you know, you will walk them through a few of the lessons and have them play around on the site, okay? And figure out, hmm, this lesson seems interesting. I think I could integrate this into my classroom, you know, in my December lesson right, around word problems, or maybe my lesson later on in the year around research. Uh, we're going to have them do a reflection and answer some of those questions. Uh, and then we're going to share just, you know, some of our go-to resources with them. Our curriculum guide offers a few suggestions as to how we might pair this for each subject. Uh, they can go to our help center, of course, and research more information. If they're interested in the G Suite certification exam, all of that is here etc. Okay, so this resource is a guide to train other teachers. And then if you go through it, we give some guidance on how to present and deliver a workshop, right, in terms of how much time you might want to spend on each piece. All right. Uh, we also talk about how to market the workshop itself. We provide you some sample communications that you can literally just sort of copy and paste 
fill in the details of your specific workshop and send to the group of teachers, educators, adult leaders, right, who are interested in this curriculum and whatever your network may be. Um, and of course, we provide you instructions with how to access that badge once you've delivered a training, right? All right, some of you may be asking, well, how do I create a class uh, and generate a class code? There are instructions on how to do that in the guide as well. Okay, so uh, I wanted to make sure that these resources were absolutely clear. If you have any questions at all on the pilot, you can go to our uh, help center at ge.co slash apply digital skills, skills slash help. And then that help center is a contact us form. If you contact our team with any questions as it relates to this pilot, we'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible. Um, I wanna thank you all for joining today to learn more about this program. Uh, if nothing else, we hope you use it in your own classroom. And please, if you are uh, looking for a way to sort of integrate this across your school, across your district, across your nonprofit, across your library, right? Go ahead and use this guide, um, this DIY guide to, to train others and, and hopefully it, it pays dividends for you all afterwards, okay? So again, the go link, uh, the, the link here that is important for you to access is g.co slash apply digital skills slash DIY. And that will give you access to that entire playbook where you can eventually deliver a training and submit for a badge yourself. Okay, well, I thank you all immensely for joining us. Uh, we hope that you, uh, you know, find your way into this community so you can earn your own trainer's badge. Uh, and please, like I said, do not hesitate to reach out to our team with any questions. All right, all the best.